Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. Today's topic is a bit different and unique. We're going to talk about dogs, more specifically golden retrievers. Our goal is to find out whether or not goldies can live with cats and get along. Before we explore this relationship and find out if it can work, let's take a look at our topic overview. Cats get along with well-trained golden retrievers. These dogs are intelligent can be trained to a high standard and are respectful. They treat cats like members of their pack. Poorly trained Goldies can chase cats, which cats obviously don't like. Goldies can also be too playful for cats. So, it seems to be a mixed bag, especially if the Golden Retriever is not well trained. However, a Goldie that is properly trained and is comfortable within its existing home environment will potentially be able to welcome a cat with no issues. Goldies are one of the best dog breeds to keep with cats, so it really all comes down to training and the positive steps that you take in an effort to make your house a home and foster a positive relationship. Before we take a deep dive into today's material, a quick shout out to you. We thank you for joining us today. We are grateful for your time, and we always appreciate your support, so thank you so very much. Now, let's get started. By and large, cats are a bit aloof and can have trouble getting along with other animals. This is why it should come as no surprise that some cats and dogs simply do not mix. In terms of the relationship between cats and goldies, most goldies will give you the green light. They'll be open to the relationship, which does give you a leg up, no pun intended, compared to other combinations. However, it's all about respect and this is where you come in. Treat your cat with respect and it will give it in return. The same applies to fostering a positive relationship with cats and goldies. If the goldie is trained, obedient, and respectful, it will be respectful of your cat. Once your cat realizes that respect, it will give it back to the dog. When respect is set as the foundation, then the relationship can not only be secured, but it can grow. Your cat will be more willing to expand personal boundaries and allow the goldie to come closer. Playtime, cuddle time, and general quality and positive interactions will become a daily occurrence. However, this does take time. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's all about trust. How the dog reacts. This seems to be the slant. It really all depends on the respect that Goldie gives your cat. Is that always true? No, but it is, at least for the most part. Whenever you're introducing a new animal to your cat, everything is a bit tilted to accommodating the cat rather than the other way around. When it comes to a situation where a cat is unhappy, it's generally because the cat views the dog as a threat, whether it's warranted or not. Goldies are big. Just the size alone can easily intimidate a feline. Another negative obstacle that could manifest is the desire to play. Dogs are much more playful than cats. While felines pick their spots, when cats are done playing, they're done. No more. Because goldies are active, this could easily get on a cat's last nerve. This can lead to fighting, simply because the desire to play and the frequency to play is a major personality difference. This is one example of how cats and dogs are simply wired differently. Cats seemingly live to sleep, especially compared to dogs. Let's just be honest, if your dog slept for 16 hours a day, you'd think something was wrong and probably call the vet, and rightfully so. For a cat, this sleep schedule, well, that's just another day. Because dogs and cats really don't understand each other, this is why respect and trust is so critical. As we've noted, it's the common ground. Hey, you're different and strange, but I trust you. With a golden retriever, you're in luck. They're one of the best dog breeds capable of sort of crossing this hurdle and bridging this gap. Goldies are friendlier, just generally speaking, compared to many other dogs. Your goldie won't just naturally, quote unquote, have it out for your cat simply for being a cat. This can't be said for other dog breeds. It is extremely unlikely for a well-trained Goldie to physically attack a cat. While every dog is certainly different and has its own unique personality, the biggest obstacle that you'll likely face, especially in a young Goldie, is its desire to play and chase. We mentioned earlier about cats loving to sleep and dogs loving to play. On the surface, this is the most glaring issue, but it's certainly not an issue that can't be harnessed to some degree. Because first impressions are indeed everything, even when you're talking about the sweetest cat and the most well-trained Goldie. So, starting things off on the good foot, that's always the desired goal, but how can this be accomplished? What do you have to do? 
The first step here is to give both animals their space. The cat area, the dog area. Both the cat and the goldie have to have some type of home base. Let's say your cat isn't exactly happy to see this dog show up on the scene. Your feline will need a safe escape route and a safe place to relax. The same applies to your goldie. Now, you should never think something bad is going to happen. Always be positive. But one of the measures you can take in the introduction process is having individual areas of retreat. This needs to be set up prior to a formal introduction. Our next tip is that of a gradual introduction. Never put your pets in the same room and just yell, ta-da, <laughs> and then just walk away. Don't ever do that. Allow your cat and your goldie to see each other from afar, preferably behind a door. Allow one pet in the room while the other isn't around. This can allow the other to smell the room. It's all about distant visuals and scents. Cross that bridge before actual physical contact is made. And we are getting closer. And that's why our next tip and our final tip for this video is putting your goldie on a leash and placing your cat and dog in the same room. If things go sour, you can control your dog and leave them out of the room. If things take a negative turn, don't freak out, stay calm. Just give your goldie a stern no if they're the aggressor and shoo your cat away if they've initiated some negative actions. Just take the dog away and try again tomorrow. You want to limit any negative experiences, and that is so, so critical. If you start yelling and displaying bad energy, your cat and your goldie will quickly make negative associations about the entire scene. This can prevent a positive encounter from happening in the near future. It's all about easing things in. Put this leash practice into practice. Over the course of many days or even many weeks, depending on the situation, increase the interaction each time until you personally feel comfortable enough with removing the leash. And obviously that is the ultimate goal. You'll know when it's right. The odds of your Goldie attacking your cat are extremely small, as we've noted earlier, so you should feel confident about your actions, and you'll know when it's time. If anyone becomes upset, it'll probably be your cat, and here again, this is why safe areas are so important. If your cat and your Goldie have rubbed noses and have had other close physical contact while your dog was on the leash, this is obviously a positive, positive sign. If negative vibes were in the air, neither animal would have allowed this type of close interaction to ever occur in the first place without at least some level of visual protest. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video portion of our material today. Rather short and sweet for the most part, however, if you'd like to know more, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of this presentation. There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article all about cats and goldies it covers everything that we've spoken about today and so much more. So if you'd like a deeper dive, we've got you covered. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we do encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of this important information. We hope that it can help you out if you're considering bringing a Goldie into your household of felines. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.